Okay, um, in this video, I will show you how to draw the Lewis structure of ions. Um, if you want to know more about ions, I will post the link in the description. And also, um, this is the part 2 of our lesson about Lewis structure. If you want to watch the part 1, I will also put the link in the description below. Okay, let's start. Step 1, we have to get the total number of valence electrons. Um, we have here the hydronium and we have a positive sign here. So this is a cation. Now, to know the number of valence electrons, we have to identify the group number of the elements. Hydrogen belongs to group 1 and oxygen belongs to group 16. Hydrogen group 1 oxygen group 16 now the valence electrons of hydrogen we have only one valence electron and we have here number 3 therefore we have 3 hydrogen atoms we're going to multiply it by 3 1 times 3 product is three valence electrons now for oxygen we have six valence electrons let's get the total number of valence electrons total number of valence electrons trons, six plus three we have nine valence electrons Next step, add an electron for every negative charge. Subtract an electron for every positive charge. We have here a positive sign. Therefore, we're going to subtract 1. Minus 1. Okay. 9 minus 1. We have 8 valence electrons so this will be our total number of valence electrons step 2 you're going to choose the central atom I already discussed this in first part of the video we're going to uh, select the central atom which has the least electronegativity except hydrogen so hydrogen will never be the central atom in our case here the central atom is oxygen but if we're going to uh, check the cent the if we're going to check the periodic table um, the electronegativity increases from left to right okay electronegativity increases from left to right when we say electronegativity this is the tendency of the uh, atom to attract electrons. Here, um, oxygen has higher electronegativity than hydrogen. Okay, But hydrogen will never be the central atom. So our central atom is O. Then, the hydrogen atoms we have three hydrogen atoms, okay? Step three, you're going to draw bonds. Let's draw. Again, um, 
we have types of bonds single bond double bond and, and triple bond each bond is equivalent to two electrons the bond represents the sharing of electrons okay now all atoms need to have eight valence electrons to become stable okay they are happy with eight valence electrons except hydrogen except hydrogen and helium okay they are happy with two valence electrons this is the octet rule okay um, atoms have to have eight valence electrons and for the helium and hydrogen, um, they are happy with two valence electrons. Um, this is called duet rule. Duet rule. Okay. Now, um, step four, we're going to allocate the remaining electrons to the outer atoms. Um, we already used how many electrons here in our diagram? Two. Four, six. So we're going to um, subtract six electrons. These electrons used to form bonds. Okay. How many electrons are left? We have two valence electrons. We're going to put the remaining electrons to the outer atoms. Take note, hydrogen is already happy with two valence electrons. So, there's no need for you to add electrons here in hydrogen. We will put the two valence electrons here in oxygen. Okay. Let's check if the atoms are happy. For hydrogen, again, it follows duet rule. Hydrogen is happy with two valence electrons. So we got two here. Two for another hydrogen and two. Now let's check if oxygen is happy. Oxygen follows octet rule. Okay. Two, four, six, eight. Oxygen is stable. Take note, you're not allowed to add more electrons um, in your diagram. You have to follow the total number of valence electrons here. We have 8 valence electrons, so in your diagram, uh, you should see the 8 valence electrons. 2, 4, 6, 8. Okay. Now, we have here is a positive sign. So, this is a cation. Um, we're going to draw a, a bracket okay. then put positive sign here okay so we're done with the uh, we're done with the hydronium cyanide ion same process we're going to get the total number of valence electrons identify first the group number of carbon and nitrogen Group number of carbon is 14. For nitrogen, the group number is 15. Okay. The valence electrons of carbon, we have 4. And for the nitrogen, we have 5 valence electrons. Okay. We're going to add to get the total valence electrons. We have 9 valence electrons. Okay. Now, add an electron for every negative charge. We have here a negative charge. Therefore, this is an ion. So, we're going to add 1. Okay. Total, 10 
valence electron. Ten valence electrons. Step two: choose the central atom. We only have two atoms here, so no need for us to choose the central atom. So let's try C for carbon and N for nitrogen. Then we're going to draw bonds. Let's draw bonds here. Single bond. Okay. And then we're going to allocate the remaining atoms or electrons rather. Allocate the remaining electrons. We're going to uh, distribute the valence electrons here. We already used two electrons because of the bond. We're going to subtract 2 from 10. This is for the bond. Okay, we use the two electrons to form a bond. Total 8 valence electrons. So we're going to distribute the 8, eight electrons here in the atom. And take note, these two atoms follow octet rule. Okay, they are happy with 8 valence electrons. 2, 4, 6, then 8. Okay, again, you're not allowed to add more electrons. You have to follow the total number of valence electrons. Okay, so we have 8. Now, let's check if the atoms are happy. For carbon, 2, 4, 6, 8. Carbon is stable. Let's check nitrogen. 2, 4. Now, nitrogen hasn't reached the full octet because it has 4 electrons. Now, um, we're going to add another bond. Okay? Again, you're not allowed to add electrons. You're going to change the electrons to form a bond. Now, we will use uh, these two electrons. Okay? Let's check if they reach the octet. For carbon, 2, 4, 6, 8. So, carbon is still stable. How about nitrogen? 2, 4, 6. Nitrogen has 6 electrons. We need 2 for nitrogen. Then, uh, we have to create another bond. Let's use these 2 electrons here to form a bond. Okay. Now let's check if they if they are st stable. For carbon, two, four, six, eight. So carbon is happy. How about nitrogen? Two, four, six, eight. Nitrogen is happy. So we form here a triple bond. Now, um, our compound has a charge. So, if your compound has a charge, you're going to put a bracket and then write the sign. Then we're done.